Dutch chemical and plastics maker Basel is buying Lyondell Chemical in a deal worth approximately 8.8 .8 billion euros. Basel, which is owned by Russia's Axis Industries, has been on the lookout for an acquisition after losing out in bids for Huntsman and GE Plastics. Joining me with analysis is Jeffrey Cross, senior pharmaceutical analyst at Crystal Research Associates, and he joins me from New York. Jeffrey, does this deal make sense to you? How do the synergies look? Synergies look quite good. Uh, Basel right now is the world's largest producer of polypropylene, and combining that with um, the Lyondell company gives it great revenue and products flow both upstream and downstream. It's a very good strategic fit. The combined entity this year would have uh, $34 billion in revenues, and it's actually a great fit for Basel, which has continued to grow since the joint venture creation of it between BASF and Royal Dutch Petroleum. KPMG was out with a report yesterday that I was looking at stating that M&A activity is, is going to be slowing down a tad. And I was talking about valuations uh, to the person I was interviewing yesterday. I, you know, I glance at, at these levels uh, that, that they're paying $12 billion in cash or $19 billion, including debt, a 45% premium to Lyondell's closing price on the 10th of May. That's still a pretty hefty premium. It is a big premium, but actually they're getting a very good deal if you take a look at the sector overall. Lyondell right now going at uh, about 12 times this year's earnings. The sector average for the chemical companies is 16.3. And if you went back and valued that Huntsman's deal, it was 19.4. So they picked up a very sizable asset with very strong cash flow at probably one of the lowest multiples they could pick up uh, in, in recent times. And you were, you were indicating uh, some movement also coming from Occidental Petroleum. Yeah, so it's sort of interesting to see that uh, July 12th, Occidental Petroleum filed that it had sold all 14 million of its shares that it had in Lyondell, which, of course, just looking at today's premium, cost Occidental Petroleum roughly $100 million. It's very interesting that a company in the sector is selling at a time when valuations continue to go up because of increasing consolidation. And I was just about to ask, I mean, how much more consolidation do you think there's room for, especially uh, when you see a lot of these companies having to take on an increase, uh, an increased leverage position in order to follow through with these mega deals that we're seeing at the moment? Well, with the pressure still coming from uh, the east with regard to manufacturing and efficiencies, I think we're going to continue to see some consolidation between North American companies and European companies. And uh, Nova Chemicals could be next on the list. They obviously would fit into either the Huntsman or this recent deal uh, without probably invoking any antitrust regulations. So what's your outlook for the sector for the remainder of 2007? Where are we heading? For the remainder of 2007, we can look for some of these companies to get rid of the businesses that don't fit, uh, paring down, gaining efficiencies. We can also look to increasing consolidation levels between larger companies and companies that strategically fit for either downstream or upstream. So I would see continued consolidation and continued increased valuation levels for these companies. By the end of this year, we should be in a position where the industry should start to settle down. Is there an area that you'd stay away from uh, in, from within within the chemical arena? I mean, it's very vast, and we tend to see you know a lot of details being spewed out about whether you're looking at petrochemicals, whether you're looking at uh, you know some of the paint manufacturers. Is there an area from within chemicals that's already uh, rich and already very um, uh, uh, very kind of up to the limit in terms of, of deals that have been done? Well, there's, there's, a, there's companies which have paid substantial premiums to acquire other companies that were sort of out of the norm, but we tend to focus on valued companies that, or tend to value companies that are undervalued, ones that are underappreciated in the marketplace. A deal like this one makes tremendous sense to us. Twelve times earnings in a sector that's selling for 16.3, that's good. We would continue to ask investors to look across all of the industry segments in chemicals and look for those companies that could be a strategic fit to another company that aren't having that very high valuation at the current time. Jeffrey, have a good evening. See you soon. Jeffrey Cross, Senior Pharmaceutical Analyst from Crystal Research Associates.